This is part two of the solutions for test three on the fall 2013 AP Physics course. Uh, so we're looking at problem nine off of test three. After performing the experiments, you find that your data plotted on a position time graph gives a parabola with the following fit where distance is measured in meters and time in seconds. So uh, this is similar to the fan carts in the moving cart. Um, activity on Logger Pro. You had T and you have this distance X and this constant tells you that it's at zero it was at minus 4.23 so right there minus 4.23 uh, this one tells you the slope was 2.53 so it was going like this and it was a parabola and because the A coefficient is positive, it went like that. So that means since it was going like this, it actually had to go a little further over here and then level out. And assuming that you acquired all the data, this would have been the fit. You probably only acquired from here onward. All right, now it's a parabola, and a parabola implies constant acceleration. If you have a parabola on a position time graph, then you have constant acceleration. Constant velocity would be a straight line. With non-zero slope. Slope, not stope, on XT graph. This would have had to have been a horizontal line. on an XT graph. should know those. And this would have been something else. Maybe a, a cubic quartic or what have you. What is the object's initial position? Well, that's given you. X naught is C and it happens to be minus 4.23 meters. What was the object's initial velocity? And that's B. That's 2.53 meters per second. And then part C, watch the object's acceleration. AX is two times A, which is two times 4.31 meters per second squared. So AX is equal to 8.62 meters per second squared, assuming that I have done that calculation correctly in my head. All right, let's go on to the next problem. Problem 10. You are told that an object initially located at minus 3 meters and traveling along the positive x direction at 2 meters per second is accelerating at 5 meters per second squared. Now, we've got to get a handle on this. Um, it says draw the velocity time graph. Okay. So, V, T. It's initially located, that's not on here, traveling along the x direction, x direction at 2 meters per second. So Vx naught is 2 meters per second. So right there, 2 meters per second. I have a point. And it says it's accelerating at 5 meters per second squared. So that's the slope and it's constant. So that's the graph. It's just a straight line and it's 
5t plus 2 is the equation. Draw the acceleration time graph for this event, labeling the slope and the y-intercept. All right. So AX in meters per second squared, time in seconds. And this should be a horizontal line like that. So it has a slope of zero. And its value, five meters per second squared. So five meters per second squared. So equals zero meters per second cubed. The third derivative position with respect to time is often called the jerk. And it doesn't really have any physical meaning other than it's the slope of the acceleration time graph. Number 11. Number 11, we have the following. In problem number 11, we have a runner who runs 30 meters in the x direction, then 20 meters in the y direction, followed by 25 meters in the minus x direction. All right, so let's draw a picture of this. This runner is going to run 30 meters, 30 meters, followed by 20 meters, followed by 25 meters. Or if you're looking at the displacement, the displacement is this, which is 20 meters in the y and 5 meters along the x. And then they ask you some questions. What was the total distance covered by the runner? Well, d is going to be 30 meters plus 20 meters plus 25 meters is 75 meters. What was the runner's displacement? Delta R is the sum of 30 meters plus a minus 25 meters I hat plus 20 meters J hat. So delta R is 5 meters i hat plus 20 meters j hat. Remember displacement is a vector, not a scalar like distance. What was the average velocity of the runner? V average is delta r, the displacement divided by the time. The time was done in 35 seconds. So we have 30, sorry, let me undo that. We have 5 meters i hat plus 20 meters j hat, all of that over 35 seconds. That gives us, uh, let's see if I've punched a calculator here and get some numbers. Uh, I got 0 0.143 meters per second I hat plus 0 0.571 meters per second J hat. What was the runner's average speed? Average speed is distance over time. time 75 meters over 35 seconds 2.14 meters per second all right and so we'll finish the rest of the problems in the next video